Welcome to Sebring International Raceway for your track guide here in the HPD ARX 01C. You go down the main straightaway into turn one, you go 160 miles an hour on the far left side. You want to make the curve, but I missed the apex. And you exit the runway, you run into turn number two, which isn't a turn. You want to break hard, hard, hard for turns three and four as you slip around the very slippery section of the course. Turn number five, you want to hit that curve on the outside underneath the bridge around Big Ben, turn number six, about 150 miles an hour. Underneath the Mobile One Bridge, you're at 155. Break at the third cone for the hairpin, turn seven. You want to get all that curve. Hit on the gas really, really early to get your exit out for the Fangio Chicane, turns eight and nine. It's flat out here. And for turn number 10, Cunningham Corner, you want to break really, really, really late to try and rotate the car to hit the apex for turn 10 or 11 Collier turn number 12 you want to hit the brakes really 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 hard for turn 13 tower turn you want to hit the apex don't hit the grass on the outside or the dirt rather and turn 14 Bishop Bend you want to hit the curb at the double apex corner you want to get all you can for turn number 15 and this sector is really important because turn 16 Lamar corner you want to run on the outside there to get the apex because you need to get all the uh, speed you can down the Omen straight it's a very, very long straightaway. The longest straightaway here at Sebring International Raceway. You want to get all the speed you can for the terrifying and treacherous turn 17, sunset bend. Use all the room on the outside. Get an apex early if that's what you want to do. Hit the gas early. Get all the way to the grass, but don't hit it. And that was your track description for Sebring International Raceway. Race pace is about 1 minute 47, but if you're really quick, you can get down to the 145s.